Happy Friday, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we got a gorgeous, beautiful day here in September. A little bit, uh, a little close to the winter time here because like October, typically we get some snow in October maybe. So anyways, um, it's nice to have a warm day today. So uh, behind me here, I've got a 2023 Renegade Verona 36 VSB that I wanted to, to, to show you. Um, there's some new things that they did in 2023, and um, uh, the, the, this particular one has the Bay Mist interior, and when we get on the inside here, um, they kept the name Bay Mist, but they've made some changes to it, so when we get on the inside there, I'll uh, kind of show you some of the cool new changes there. Um, but for the outside here, as you can see, the Ingot exterior is still in existence. It's been a good, uh, good seller for Renegade. Gorgeous coach. Um, it did come with, as you can see, the um, the optional All-American racing wheels, which just give it a nice look. And as we come around to the side here on the front, you see it's got the Caliber C9 upgraded grille. Again, that just kind of dresses it up a little bit. <clears throat> now, I've got these hood latch released right now so you can see how easy it is to open close it's very simple there and then as for those of you that are mechanically inclined um, as you can see it's easy access to like the power steering fluid my fuel filter my belts my hoses the engine um, dipstick on the oil transmission everything's very easy to access here so this this being a Verona, over several years, they, they are all built on the M2106 Freightliner chassis. We've got a 8.9 liter, 1150 pound foot of torque engine. You can tow up to 20,000 pounds with this bad boy. <clears throat> Come along the side here, we've got um, your 100 gallon fuel tank. You've got 50 gallons on one side, 50 gallons on the other. They do feed off of one another and then the depth fuel is actually located here as well. Um, another, it, another nice feature about the Super C motorhome is it does make it easier getting in and out of the passenger and driver's area. So you actually have three entrances on this coach, passenger door, driver door, and then the main cab entrance door. <clears throat> oh, another thing just to point out, as I open this, I don't know if you can get a shot of that, but as I open and close this door, say in the evening you got that nice LED light just lights up your little entrance area here just something to point out there okay I paired my phone earlier to this phone this does come with the Firefly system Firefly is a um, technology that Renegade uses uh, where you can actually pair your mobile device to the coach and operate operate things like the awning the slides the lights generator your air conditioner your furnace all those things are going to be right in your mobile device there. So um, if I need to get underneath these, this slide right now, you can see how difficult that is. So with these doors open, I was just gonna demonstrate the slide going in. <clears throat> so as this slide is going in, I want you to notice that it's clearing these open doors. So it's not doing any damage whatsoever to the tops of my doors. It's not scratching them, not bending them. It's just nicely above them. So you, if you're running the slides in or out with your doors open, say you're inside of it, you don't have to worry about doing any damage to your doors. Now with the doors, with this slide all the way in, you can see how much easier it's gonna to be to get to my bays. Um, in this first bay here, as you can see, we've got the green top optional 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So this has three lithiums and you've got the two chassis batteries. And then up top here, just something to point out. I want to pop this off here. So that's an air chuck. If I need to tap into the air on the coach, I've got a 50 foot hose that you can tap into it there. And that's where it's located, right here in the battery bay. And we do have the this has the, the Victron meter here. It's got 100, three 175 watts of solar. 
Then coming down this way, we've got the next bay here, 250D Aquahot. That will heat the coach. For those that like long showers, um, continuous hot water, have the diesel burner on, and that does provide you with the continuous hot water system. Also, it has an electric element in it as well um, that provides heat for the coach and then heat for your hot water. The next two bays, we've got a gray tank and a black holding tank. Both of those are 75 gallons. This is where the holding tanks are for the black and gray water. And then your dump valves are gonna be located in here. So you got a black tank dump, gray tank dump here. You have a whole house water filtration system. You have an house, you have, you do come, it does come with an outside spray port. Um, your city water, so I can pull my city water hose out and then I can retract it in. Makes life a lot easier when you're hooking and unhooking city water hose. You have a place to store your um, sewage hose. And then if you need to check on your holding tanks, you can push the black, push the gray. It's just going to display how much water you have in each system. And then if you want to check on the house batteries, the voltage level is displayed there as well. And then right below this, we've got, this is just the exhaust on the chassis. And then this exhaust here is going to be for the Aquahot 250D. Coming down this way. <clears throat> so running right now, I don't know how, how quiet you guys could tell, I don't, or if you can even hear it, but it is running right now. You got an 8,000 watt quiet diesel Cummins Onan generator. That'll provide you electricity for all your components, like the refrigerator, the induction cooktop, um, all your TVs, uh, electrical outlets. For those of you that like the boondock, do a lot of dry camping, you're running and you need, you don't have access to a pole power, you've got the generator to help you out there. <clears throat> and then when you, if you are camping at most campgrounds that have a pole power, have somewhere to plug in or maybe a property, you've got 50 amps. So you can pull this out. And there's a little button in here again to make life easier. And it reels it back in. And you do run it. There's a little doorway right here I can open up. So you run that out the bottom so you can close the door. Close that up. You got to, if you can notice, you do have an electrical outlet here if you need to access some 110 power. And then right above it, this big black box is your surge guard transfer switch. So that automatically switches between generator and shore power. <clears throat> Come around back here. Um, if you notice this kind of one piece molded rear fiberglass wall. Uh, so the rear cap is, is a complete molded rear wall. So is the front cap. So there's no seams on your corners. Uh, what's that do for you? It's, it's just peace of mind. Um, no leak points. In the rear of it, you've got all your lights on the back of this coach. You've got the running lights are all LEDs. Your turn signals, your brake lights are all LEDs. Your reverse lights, again, all LEDs. You got a 20,000 pound hitch on the back here. Um, again, the generator's running. This is the exhaust on the generator. And down below here, we've got seven-way brake controller system there. And this little silver connection here is for a camera system. If, if, if someone has a camera on their in, on the inside of their trailer or on the exterior of their trailer, you can actually, there's a switch on the dash where you can toggle between truck camera or trailer camera. That's what that's for. <clears throat> okay, coming around this side. So now we're on the, what I, this is the patio side. So this is where, if you've got your, you've got your patio mat set up, all your lawn chairs are all set up, you're under the awning, you, you want to have easy access to all your outside storage. So if you notice, all this is all great storage. Um, this particular storage here, you now this, this goes nice and deep there. If you've got some long fishing poles, paddle boards, Maybe you're taking a bunch of friends out for a golf trip. You can slide all your golf bags in there nice and easy. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature there where you can 
for, for storage. And then this, this one's just a little small one for maybe a toolbox, cooler, any type of items you want to, smaller items to put in there. And on this side, we've got more storage over here. As we come to this bay, you notice there's the 50 foot air hose I was mentioning to you earlier on the other side. And then these little slide locks here, I get these questions a lot, what are these for? Well, these, these actually, you can put these in place on the inside for these slide outs. That's what, hence the, the term slide lock. So if, if you're traveling on any kind of roads that are gonna be a little sketchy, not as smooth as other roads, a little bumpier roads, probably a good idea to have those in place just to keep your slides from getting out of alignment. That's basically what those are for. And then we do have the outside entertainment. So this does pull out and I can angle this. I've got a, the, the sun glare on one side. I can angle it to the other just to get the glare off. Makes life a little easier watching a ball game or watching a movie outdoors. And we got additional storage here. Um, it's also where the 3000 watt inverter is located. And then the solar charge controller is back in the back, that black box there is your solar charge controller. <clears throat> Another thing I always like to talk about is um, the way Renegade designs their, their compartment doors. So if you notice you've got not, not just one, but you've got two latches here. So both of those latches, um, we call them the slam latch baggage doors. So when I close these doors, they're not fighting me. They're not scratching these other doors. They're nice and tight. It makes life a lot easier when I want to hit the road. I got all my gear loaded up. It does make it easier when you're closing and opening those doors. Um, if you notice the awning, I've got the awning out right now. So it's a rooftop awning. And I've got those LED lights on right now. So earlier I was showing you me operating the slide. So if I go to my awnings, um, first off I'll show you, I can actually literally re retract the awning from, from the mobile device. Or if I wanted to go into the systems lights, turn off the exterior awning light. I don't know if you can see that Jody, but it just turn the light off, turn it back on. And then over the entrance door here, we've got Got another bright, nice little LED light. You can just tap on the button there and it turns it on and off. And actually, it's got a cargo light switch too. I don't, I don't need to open those up, but you hit the cargo light and it lights all your cargo compartments and turns them off all at the same time. All right, let's go inside and I'll show you the new changes for 2023. Okay, so we're in a 2023 Verona, 36 VSB. I've got the main slide all the way in right now. Um, the, the new interior gray mist interior has a little bit lighter leather color now. The window treatments are, are a little bit different than last year. Um, the big changes are gonna be the wood color. So new for 23 in Verona and Valencia, you have the new uh, Lakewood wood, wood choice selection, which is standard on all Veronas and all Valencias for 2023. Also the countertops are the new Frey White herringbone countertops for the Verona, which gives it a nice look, nice contrast between the kind of the, the wood, the kind of grayish wood color cabinets and the lighter countertops. Looks really nice. And then as you can notice, I'm talking to you right now with this slide all the way in. So if I need to access the bathroom, the refrigerator, it's easy still to navigate through here, no problem. <clears throat> now this, with the slide in, let's see how much room it gives you with the slide out. So I won't use the phone now since I'm inside. I've got the Firefly system right here. So I'm gonna go into my slide outs, go into my front slide and I extend 
front slide so you can see how much more room it's going to give you on the inside. And remember, oops, so this needs to get snapped. Put that there. So that, there's a little button under there to keep that from sliding out when you're traveling or when you're running the slide. <laughs> <clears throat> these are electric slides um, as you as you can see it did come with the optional theater seating standard is a fold and tumble a, a sleeper sofa and then you've got the booth dinette so this does make into a small bed for small adult small child or pet and then all your window treatments your window shades have the day and night MCD roller shades. Very easy to operate. And then overhead cabinets. I always like to point out. You notice as I'm going down the line here, they're not closing on me. You got these nice heavy duty hinges. So when you're loading these cabinets, you're not sitting there fighting a, a, an overhead door that's wanting to collapse and close on you. If you notice this little cushion in here, so this this just creates the the the, so, the dinette bed, if you will. So underneath here, you got your larger cushions. This kind of goes in like a puzzle. The other one's down below here to drop this down and give you an extra sleeping area from the dinette. Again, snap this back in. Okay, in your theater seats, they do recline, they're nice and comfy. A um, couple of cup holders here, all your remote controls, wallets, keys, any smaller items you can keep in, down below here. Okay, and then we go around to the front. This overhead is the optional bunk over cab feature um, so this gives you the nice big picture window uh, there's a there's a button over here where i can extend my shade to block out the light or if i like all that natural light uh, you can also operate that shade from the mobile device and then this is your overhead bunk so you just grab this and pull it forward these two cushions go together to make one large bed. You kind of get an idea how thick each one of these are. Almost makes like a double bed up top here. And then you got the ladder. And you slide this forward to make it easier to get in and out of the captain's area. <clears throat> these seats do swivel to join the living room. As you come around this way, you notice you do have a bunk over uh, cab TV. Then you have the main Main TV here is Samsung, smart television. There's a little release here. If you're sitting over at the dinette area and you want a better angle at the television, you can pull it out, and give it a good angle towards the dinette. And then um, in the kitchen area, if you notice you do your sink covers and your induction cooktop covers, create lots of nice counter space. So this is all, this is all Corian, and um, oh, sorry. And then you have induction cooktop. It's going to be over on this side. So remember earlier I mentioned this has the Aqua Hot 250D, so there's no propane. So there's no propane cooktop. This has an induction cooktop. Um, and then you have your convection microwave oven, and then we have the Samsung all electric refrigerator. Above the sink, do have some pretty good storage here. There's another cabinet on this side, I believe. Yep. And then over here, we've got the Blu-ray player, some adjustable shelves, your over-the-air TV antenna boosters located here. Um, you know, if you want to add a game system or satellite receivers, 
Uh, this does, this particular coach has the in motion satellite option. Um, I believe that's right. Yep. And then down below, we've got, um, well, we'll start over on this side. We've got good storage under the sink. And every RV needs a trash can. So there you go. We've got a dedicated trash can area. If you get a kind of angle back there, you can set black box in the rear. So that's your subwoofer. So it gives you some ni a nice sound system. If you're watching a ball game or a movie or anything, that's all tied into the, to the sound bar on the main TV here. And then your drawers. We've got full extension drawer glides. And if you notice as I'm closing these drawers, you've got soft clothes on all your drawers. And in this cabinet here, is actually where your fuse panel is located. So your fuses are back behind here. Your inverter, everything tied into the inverter is going to be labeled here. Bedroom receptacles, refrigerator, bath, GFI, washer. Um, just kind of gives you a, a list of all the different components that are hardwired to the inverter. This next panel down below here is everything that's hardwired through the primary. So the main front air conditioner, rear air conditioner, aqua hot, range electric induction cooktop so all that's going to be labeled here so it's in a good location it's it's not you're not having to run a slide out to get to the electrical bay or electrical components for the house um, so yeah just something to point out there even when the slide room is in you can still get to it pantry so up top we here with has some adjustable adjustable shelves this goes nice and deep all the way back in there. And we've got two little shallow full extension drawers here on the top of the pantry. And then you got two nice deep pantry drawers as well. The refrigerator, we've got it opened right now. Kind of see how much room you got. So your ice, ice maker's here, and then this is just one giant drawer. You slide this out, and you got more room below for the freezer, your freezer items. Close this up. You close all this up. Lock it here. Lock it there. Now you're ready for travel. And then over the, over the top of the refrigerator is a good hiding place for all you tall, tall folks. <laughs> I can't quite reach back there all the way, but good little more storage over the refrigerator area. <clears throat> Coming around to the back, so we do have the optional washer dryer goes here. This does have it. Open these up so you can get a good view of that. You got the washer down below, dryer up top. And then if you do have guests with you, um, First of all, I'll just do this one first. We've got a pocket door here to close off the master bedroom. And then right here, we've got a pocket door to close off the guest area. Somebody's using the bathroom area. And there's locks. There's locks on the, on the inside of the door. So this, this actually is to lock it from the bedroom side. Okay, and then coming into the bathroom area, I always like to show how much room you have. I'm, I'm six foot two. I can fit in this shower no problem. Close these doors. I got plenty of headroom, plenty of elbow room. Got an adjustable water head or shower head. <clears throat> and then you notice this toilet here. We've got a macerator flushing toilet. This is porcelain toilet. A place for toilet paper, towel rack, toiletry items overhead. Again, you got those heavy duty hinges so that door stays open for you. And on a hot day, you got this door closed. So something to point out, we got an air conditioner vent right here. So we got some nice air flow in the, in the shower room. Coming around this way, we've got Medicine cabinet overhead. Again, all Corian. This kind of Corian flows into the sink, so it makes it easier for cleanup. 
A lot of counter space too around the sink, just something to point out. And there is a electrical outlet over off to the corner here, just something else to point out. It does have a 110 outlet. And then down on the bottom here, we've got some good extra storage. A full extension drawer here, and more storage down below for your toilet bathroom items. <clears throat> if you come around this way, I'll switch spots with you. So that, again, there's the Firefly system is in the front. It's also in the back. So if, if you change the system on your phone, your mobile device, or if you change it on the front, you change it on the back, everything kind of feeds off of one another. But just a real quick walkthrough on this. Um, we're on the home screen. So if I want to turn all my lights off, just tap of the button that turns it off, turn them back on. I can check my holding tanks, fresh water, gray water, black water levels. The 75 gallon black and gray tanks both have tank heaters on them. The little red lights letting you know it's on and then off. Water pump on and off. There's my voltage level on the, uh, the house and the chassis. Generator on and off switch. <clears throat> Automatic gen starts, AGS. You can enable that, disable it there. And then you can also go into different functions like just the lights, the generator, the HVAC, your fan controls, your slide controls. And then last but not least, the settings. That's where you can actually pair your mobile device and check some different diagnostics through for the coach, for the um, network diagnostics, aqua hot diagnostics, things like that. Maybe a technician messing with. Just a little quick walk through on the Firefly. Um, on back here we've got uh, I believe it's 72 by 76. I'm going off memory here, but king size bed, not a residential king, we'll call it an RV king. Um, it does have the 150 gallon fresh water tanks. So you have a 75 here and a 75 gallon here that are connected. So you've got 150 gallons of fresh water that are inside the living quarters <clears throat> and then your water pump is located here your low point drain line everything's going to be accessed in here and um, let's see what else is down below yeah that should be I mean it mainly covers that if you're doing a walkthrough orientation or anything like that with us we'll kind of go through how to winterize and dewinterize the system too uh, full walk around beds you've got Electrical receptacles on both sides of the bed. And you have more overhead storage above the bed. These, you'll see these black panels throughout the coach. This particular one here is going to be ceiling lights. I can turn my generator on and off from here. It's also my reading lights, my ceiling lights. And the water pump. If you're getting up in the morning, you're like, I want to, and you're dry camping, and you need to get the water, you know, pressurize the system, turn the pump on right there. A couple of side windows. Both of these windows, too, open. So you've got a screen room, you're gonna get some nice cross ventilation. All your windows do open on both sides of the bed. You come around to the front of the bed. Got some good hanging clothes storage. So this comes out too. So if you got longer garments, you can pull this out and utilize the whole hanging space. And then we have Blu-ray player for the bedroom. Again, another Samsung smart TV above the window. And then down, back down below where your Blu-ray player is, we've got some adjustable shelving. If you want to add a game system, add a receiver for the satellite, we've got much more room down below here. More storage, more storage. And you got four nice big drawers here. Again, they're all, I won't do all four of them, but they all full extend just like this. wardrobe storage there. 
Let's go up front here and I'll kind of go over a few things on the cab. All right. So, I can mention to you this is an M2106 Freightliner chassis. So when I turn this on, it's gonna start beeping at me. You may hear a buzz on the right side and then the left side. Give it just a minute. And any time now. I knew it was gonna happen. One, it took a little bit. That's just activating the collision mitigation system. So this, this does come with um, uh, CMS collision mitigation system in lane assist. Um, so if you if you're drifting, you're driving this and you drift out of your your lane, it'll buzz you on the right side. It'll buzz you on the left side, just letting you know you're you're drifting out of your lane. If you have your cruise control set, it does have adaptive cruise. Um, it will distance you uh, back. Uh, in the settings here, you can do I, I believe it's a, a a low, medium, and a high setting. It goes from 3.3 seconds to 3.6 seconds up to I think 3.9 or somewhere in that range um, don't quote me on that I can certainly get you the answer on that but it does those settings distance you back from the driver in front of you when you have the cruise control set um, also it comes with a TPMS system here so you can um, check on your tire pressures for the front the steer steer tires um, and the actual uh, the dual tires in the back as well. The Garmin system here is detachable so I can take this off and it charges when it's on. And there's a back, right now it's in, the, it's in the GPS mode. I hit the back button that's going to take me back here to the main screen and if I tap this little center button there with the black dots that gives you all the different features that are available in the Garmin system here. Um, your cameras, your cameras are going to be located in here. So there's a side camera, there's another side camera there, and then there's your backup camera. Give it a minute, function to the back. And then I can go back to the home screen here. Um, there's your radio. It's going to be located here. And it's in the mute mode right now. So, and I can go back, mute that, go back out of it. These are also, I was kind of playing around with this earlier, so if you wanted to put one of these icons on the main screen, you can literally hold your finger down on it, kind of like you do on, a, on an Android or an iPhone, and drag it where you want it. So now if I want this on this screen here, um, oh, I've got two of them on there because I did it earlier, but that's uh, that's one way to, to get it to be on the main screen there. So, something I wanted to point out there. So cool little feature there. And if your passenger wants to um, help, be, help be the navigator or, or operate the music or anybody in the back, you can literally take it off and operate it from different spots in the motor. Um, another feature too I saw on this, it's kind of new, new in the past year or two. Um, you've got a suspension suspension up and down. So if I flip that switch, I'm dropping the air right now. So that's lowering it down. And I can flip it back to up. When I turn the engine on, it's going to raise it back up. What would I use that for? Well, if you needed a clearance in a garage or something like that, um, yeah, this, this coach will, you can drop it down about a good four inches or so. And when you start it up, just, you know, crawl into your garage if you need that clearance this depends on what you're or if you just want to drop it to its lowest position before you level it that way the steps aren't sitting so high up off the ground it's another nice feature there <clears throat> um, let's see six speed allison transmissions located here your window controls are here lock and unlock mirror heat pretty standard stuff here on the, the chassis then your speed cruise controls on this side um, Resume, Excel, Accelerate is all on this left side here. Pretty simple and easy to figure out. Those are things that we show you. Um, and then the engine brake. So you have, this turns the engine brake on, it turns it off. You've got a high, a medium, and a low. This is your, so I you know, call it a three-stage engine brake. 
and then your parking brake is here. Yeah, that's uh, most of this stuff is pretty, pretty uh, standard stuff. Air conditioner, heater controls down below here, and uh, oh, the um, the trailer camera and the truck camera switch. I think earlier when I was talking about the the uh, Voyager camera system on the back of the coach, so that flips it between the truck camera and the trailer camera. Should you be hooked up to a trailer on the back and see that, you would see that on your camera display. Okay, so I think that covers the majority of what I wanted to cover on the new Renegade Verona um, 2023. Again, we got new cabinet colors, new countertops, and a little bit lighter gray leather this year for 2023. Um, if, you, uh, if you feel free to, uh, to click below um, on our YouTube page, our uh, Facebook page, um, where you can click below to view other, uh, if you want to view other inventory pieces that we have out there. Um, there should be a little place below. I don't know if I'm pointing at it here or pointing over there, but uh, feel free to please uh, check that out. Um, if you have questions on any motorhome, if you have interest in a 36 VSB, uh, we do have production slots available to get you on. You could build it in these colors or you could pick out your own options and your own colors. And I'd be happy to send you all that information. Um, again, my name is Grant Russell. Please feel free to reach out to me on my cell phone, through email, through text. Um, here's my information. You can reach me best on my cell phone at 720-539-4711 or text. Or if you like email, um, I'm always on, the, on my email too, so you can shoot me an email at grussell. That's two S's and two L's. grussell at transwest.com. All right, guys. It's Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. I'm out.